Hello and welcome to DevSpot. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, create your first multi-page web application in Vue. So let's go ahead and start by creating our project here. So you can simply type Vue create and then I will just call this one uh, YouTube test. And then this is going to go ahead and start creating all the source files that we'll need. I'm going to go ahead and do this in Vue 3. So then you can see that we're installing all the plugins and all the different folders that you'll need to have your view application up and running. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit and come back to you when it is fully loaded. Okay, perfect. So all of that has been set up. And then you can see here that in my Visual Studio Code, I have the application up and running. And now to actually see the project, um, uh, running in like your Google Chrome for example all you have to type is npm run serve and then let this run its course and then you'll be able to see once I drag it in you'll be able to see our application running at localhost so give this a second sweet so there we go let me drag this over so then here you go you can see that our view application is up and running okay and then this is currently just a single page application. And the whole point of this video is to show you how to set up um, a multi-page application. Um, say you have a portfolio and you want different sections or whatever you may need um, if you need um, other routes that your user can access. So like for example, say you need like um, slash about. We're gonna be able to create our own about page here and it'll actually pull you over there automatically and you can populate different components, different views in there um, and have it all functioning properly. So. Let's start by adding view router. So the way that you're gonna be able to have multiple pages in your application is by using um, <clears throat> this add-on called router. So all you do is type view add router. Actually, probably gonna to want to change to the correct directory. So we're in our YouTube test project um, folder here. And then you simply type view add router and this is going to go through the whole process of adding the necessary components that you need to have different routes in your project. So as you can see, it's starting to install all the necessary um, files there, and it will actually um, change the structure of your project. So make sure that you have everything backed up and saved. Um, if this is being added later on, you don't want to screw everything up. Um, so. Let's see, so, okay, good, it's still compiling. I was gonna say, shouldn't have any errors yet. Okay, sweet, so you can see that our view uh, router plugin has been successfully installed, and then within our main JS, you can see that we have imported router, and we are now using router. And within here, we have multiple views now. And this is the most important file here for us because we're actually gonna be able to set up um, different paths and link those paths to different components. So let's get rid of, let's pull up our application here. Okay, so here you go. You can see that um, if you can remember what it looked like previously, now we have a home page and we have an about page. And these just simply map to the components that are over here. So you can see, oh, not to the components, to the views over here. So in the about view, you can see here that it is loading this component when you go there. And you can see that it's all, um, it all updates automatically. So you can see when I save this test, you'll see that test is there. And test is not here because it's only in the about component. So I'm gonna show you how to add another component here. Um, so we, ha we have an about, so let's, uh, let's just make a new component and we're gonna call this We'll just call it a test component. So test.view, and I have a nice plugin here that just populates all of the structure of our view application here. So you have the styling, scripts, and the template. And we'll create a div with a header tag of this is our test component. Save that. Okay, so the main portion of this video is gonna be going over how to actually link the um, this path here to our component. So similarly to how you import anything else within Vue, we're going to import our component from our, um, our views folder that we made. And we call that test.view. 
So there we have it imported. And then within our routes array here, we're gonna want to add a route that maps to a path of test, okay? So you can basically just copy the structure of this here. So let's add another object here with a path. And we're gonna go ahead and call the path test, right? And then we'll give it a name of, we'll call that test as well. And now here's the cool part where you actually, you, you, you show your router here which component that you want it to load at the given path. So we're wanting to load our test component that we have imported up there. So we're gonna go ahead and type in test and this will link our component to this path, all right? Save that. So then let's see what happens when we go to um, localhost slash test. Boom, easy as that. So now we have our test component loaded when you go to localhost slash test. Okay. But you can see here that these actually provided router links. That's what these are called here. So you can actually allow the user to click on these, um, these links here and they will take you to the different links of your project that you have set. So instead of having to actually go to slash test, we can set this up as well. So I'll show you how to do that really quick. Um, I believe that's set up in app, yes. So view provides these really cool um, tags here called router links. Um, and I'll go ahead and copy the styling of that. So simply type router, actually I think my, uh, I need to actually type it out, there we go. So router link, and all you do is you say what this router link uh, links to, okay? So we are linking to, as we named it, test, which is the same as our path here that we set, okay? So it links to that path, and then let's give it, um, call it test, and, router link and I need to add the forward slash okay so now when I save this we should see that a test link shows up so now we can go to our about page we can go to our home page and then we can go to our test page this is our test component and obviously you can change this to whatever you want you can do capital T test test 2 let's see <clears throat> so then you can see that this obviously doesn't work anymore because this isn't correct. So if we had test2 set, then all we would have to do is go back, change our router link, save that, go to test, and we're functioning again. So that is the straightforward and easy way to have your Vue application have multiple pages. More often than not, I feel like people think of Vue as just a single page application um, developing framework. like. You can so easily have multiple pages within Vue, um, and it's it's super straightforward. And you can do this for any amount of components you might have. Um, so it's it's really 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 easy um, and pretty handy. Uh, so if you found this video helpful, um, please please do subscribe, uh, like, leave a comment below if you have any input or uh, any other topics that you'd like me to cover. Um, so until next time, yeah, have a have a good one. Thanks.